hello everyone welcome to solve this nice math olympiad algebra problem so here we have m minus 2 whole square is equals to 81 and we solve this problem for the values of m so here uh, we solve this problem for two methods and i hope so you like both of these methods but if you have any other method in your mind so please don't hesitate to write this method into the comment section so here first we need to solve this problem with the help of this nice algebraic formula so if you have a minus b whole square it is equals to a square minus 2 times of a b plus b square so according to this one this nice formula we write the left hand side of the above equation as because here our a is equals to m and our b is equals to 2 so according to this formula we write this term as uh, first you have a square our a is m square minus 2 times of a b so a is m and b is 2 plus b square so b is 2 square and this is equals to 81 and now here in the next step we need some simplifications here and we have this is m square and this is 2 times of 2 becomes minus 4 m and this 2 square is equals to plus 4 and here we move this is plus 81 when we move in the left hand side it will becomes minus 81 and this whole equation is equals to 0. So further in the next step we need more simplifications and it will be written as m square minus 4m and 4 minus 81 is equals to minus 77 and this is equals to 0. So now you see here uh, this equation will become a quadratic equation in standard form of m variable and now here uh, you know that we have uh, three we have four methods to solve the quadratic equation. The first method is graphical method, uh, the second method is by factorization method and the third is by completing square and the fourth is by using the quadratic formula. So here uh, we just uh, solve this quadratic equation by applying the quadratic formula. Uh, so for this we first need to write the coefficients of this equation and its coefficients are a is equals to 1, b is equals to minus 4 and c is equals to minus 77 and now here we state the quadratic formula as m is equals to minus b plus minus square root of b square minus 4 times of ac divided by 2 times of a. So this is the over uh, quadratic formula and now here we need to substitute the values of a, b and c in this nice formula. So after substituting the values it will be written as uh, this is m is equals to minus times of value of b is minus 4 plus minus this is square root of b square b is minus 4 square minus 4 times of a is 1 and c is minus 77 and it is divided by 2 times of a so here our a is equals to 1 so further in the next step we need more simplifications and it will be written as m is equals to this is minus times of minus becomes plus 4 and plus minus this is square root of minus 4 square equals to 16 and this is minus times of minus becomes plus and 4 times of this is 77 and it is divided by 2. So here we rewrite uh, this term as this is 4 plus minus square root of uh, this is 16 plus 4 multiplied by 77 is equals to 308 and it is divided by 2. And now we need to sum up these two values and we obtain here our m is equals to 4 plus minus square root of 16 plus 308 is equals to uh, 224 so we write it as this is 324 and it is divided by 2 so here uh, we need to focus on this square root term and it will be written as 4 plus minus we know that 324 is the square the square root of 324 is equals to 18 and it is divided by 2. 
So now we convert this equation into the two cases. Here we write the positive value. It is 4 plus 18 divided by 2. And here we write the negative value. It is 4 minus 18 divided by 2. So that uh, from here we get the value of m is equals to this is 4 plus 18 is equals to 22 divided by 2 and in this case we have m is equals to 4 minus 18 is equals to minus 14 and it is divided by 2. So we have the values of m is equals to this is 2 times of 11 is 22. We get the value of m is equals to 11. And from this case we have this is 2 sevens of 14 and we get the values of m is equals to minus 7. So this is the second value of m. So here from first method we obtain here these two values of m. And now here we move forward and we again solve this problem for second method. Uh, for this we first need to copy down the given question statement here. So that the given question statement is that m minus 2 whole square is equals to 81. So here uh, in the second method uh, we uh, solve this problem with the help of this nice formula a square minus b square equals to a minus b times of a plus b. So here uh, uh, by using or by applying this nice formula we write here uh, first we write the above equation into the standard form of this formula. So for this we move 81 in the left hand side and it will be written as m minus 2 whole square minus 81 equals to 0. So here we rewrite this equation as m minus 2 whole square minus this 81 equals to 9 square and this whole equation is equals to 0. And now here in the next step uh, we have uh, we just apply this nice formula so according to this formula we write this uh, equation as first you have a minus b it's, so here the value of a is m minus 2 the value of b is 9 so when you apply these two formulas it will be written as m minus 2 and minus b the value of b is 9 into we have m minus 2 and plus the value of b is 9 and this whole equation equals to 0. So that here we need more simplifications and it will be written as m minus this is minus 2 minus 9 equals to minus 11 and here we have minus 2 plus 9 equals to plus 7 and this whole equation equals to 0. So here further in the next step uh, we need to divide this equation into the two cases. The first case is we write m minus 11 equals to 0 and the second case is we write m plus 7 equals to 0. So from here we easily get the first value of m is equals to 11 and now uh, we get the second value of m is equals to this is plus 7 when we move in the right hand side it will become here minus 7. So this is the second value of m which we get here from second method uh, and this is the final answer and thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos.